Evidence and artifacts housed in the Oklahoma City National Memorial and Museum archives are now on display at the museum. A large renovation project has created a new space for many of the items that have not been viewed or viewed on a rotating basis. The latest two phases of the multi-phase project will be open to the public on Tuesday. These new additions and exhibits are dedicated to the story of investigation and justice. In addition to newly displayed items, a 40-foot glass overlook creates a seamless connection between the museum and the outside memorial. There are also a number of new interactive exhibits. This is phase two and three of a multi-phase project that began initially with two very dedicated people, Mike Turpin and John Michelle's, raising the funds to make this happen. And then it could not have happened without a phenomenal staff here at the memorial working virtual 20, 24 hour days, day after day after day. I don't think any of them have slept in, in many, many months. Hopefully as, after this week they'll get to go home and rest just a little bit. Um, many of you have asked about what this means, why, why it's been so important. I had the opportunity to bring family members yesterday. They had been here when the museum opened, they had not been back since, and they were overwhelmed with, with, the, with the things that had changed, with the um, artifacts that had been brought into the museum, the enhanced exhibits. They said, we finally got to see the finalization of the event itself. We knew what had happened to, at the beginning. We knew what had happened, but we'd not been able to see that. With, um, with what, what's been added in this, this phase alone, people get to see from beginning to end what, what, what did happen here in Oklahoma City. The remaining enhancements are scheduled to be completed by the end of the year. When all is finished, updates to the museum and memorial will cost nearly $8 million.